my first time ever riding off-road. Oh, okay. It looks a very new bike. It's brand new to me. <laughs> it's obviously not brand new. First time I've been riding for 30 years. Yep. When I got the bug, I thought I'd give off-road. It's amazing, isn't it? To keep that bike from aside. You right there ladies and gents, how's it going? This is a sort of bonus video. Um, we ended my last green laning with Pez's rear suspension collapsing and uh, we are going to call it a day, but he didn't want us to uh, finish our day. So me and Phil, Phil480, go follow his channel, links down below and at the end of this video. Um, yeah, we've carried on to do a few more lanes. Yeah, we're not going to do many and they're going to be generally easy ones just because Phil's been struggling for grip a little bit with his rear tyre um, in the sloshy stuff uh, so we, we just have a, a nice chilled out few lanes um, and just enjoy ourselves which should be awesome, it should be awesome now this is one of the first green lanes that Phil 480 ever did and he did it back um, a few years ago on his Triumph Scrambler which he's just reminded me of um, I don't know whether that video is still available on his channel or what have you um, but it might be fun to go and watch that he uh, he gave his little triumph a lot of abuse and he did him well oh, but it's a glorious day uh, and, uh, it's just fun getting out on a motorcycle isn't it it would be fun on a road bike but even more fun I find this time of year getting out and getting mucky brilliant stuff as you can see the sun's shining it's chilly but it's glorious i love it when the air's like this it's so crisp and clear and uh, you can just really enjoy the countryside i know the countryside's lovely in the summer it really is and i'm uh, very much a summer fan but i think it, it just looks so much nicer in the winter um, i don't know more typical english countryside that's how i imagine it anyway I might be talking rubbish. Yeah, so we're going to do this lane, which is Brockets, um, and then link them up to a couple of others. Uh, and then we'll do Wolven's Lane and finish on Pisley, which has got a little river crossing. All pretty mild stuff. But it's just great to get the air in your lungs, get outside, two wheels and an engine. Perfect. Now, is this going to be as deep as it was last time I did it, or is it drained a bit? Who knows? Ah, it's shallow! Nothing there! It's stuff like this that would make me want to get a mountain bike because then you can do all the sort of footpaths and bridleways and stuff without getting into trouble. So you get to explore an awful lot more than we can do here. But then you've got to pedal. <laughs> oh, we've got a bike friend. You right there, buddy? Doing a few lanes. This is my first time ever riding off-road. Oh, okay. It looks a very new bike. It's brand new to me. <laughs> it's obviously not brand new. First time I've been riding for 30 years. Yep. When I got the bug, I thought I'd off -road. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. We've, we've, ju we've just had to send one of our mates home on his BMW, oh, his yeah. suspension collapsed. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but he's, he's put his bike through a lot of abuse. He's got a, um, a G650 GS, right. and uh, yeah, yeah, just one lane too many. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm mad for it, the first time out, and I've, I've just got this route up here, and I'm seeing where I go next. Actually. Yep. Um, so from here, um, it's straight on, and then the road bears around to the left, but just goes straight on. I mean, you can follow, follow us if you want. Ah, we've got a motorcycle friend. We've adopted one. Good on him coming out and having a go at it. Oh, a bit brave doing it by himself, though, for his first ever go at it, but good for him having a go. Uh, he's all right on here. This is quite an easy one. Um, but he does get a bit sloshy. But yeah, brand new bike. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know whether it's brand new or brand new to him. But it certainly looks very clean. It won't do by the end of today. So this is uh, the reverse way now of uh, the way we came up last time on my last video. And uh, it does get very, very sloshy in a second. Um, I hope that guy's going to be okay. I'm going to be going very slowly just because of him and... Uh, Again, Phil's not got huge confidence in his tyres. 
Um, but we're all right so far. Yeah, we'll go gently. Let him uh, get through this in his comfort zone and stuff. But it's very easy actually at the moment. It's very easy. Just uh, stick with him. Yeah, it's all been compacted along here now. It's so much easier than it was before. Uh, but up here it would have drained a lot better. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like down the bottom. Oh, I've got the sun right in my face again. So I'm sorry about the camera angle. I'm having to tilt my head to kind of uh, keep my eyes out of the sunshine. I've got loads of grip at the moment, so it's not going to be too much of a problem. He's got sensible tyres on his bike, so he should be okay, I think. It gets quite sloshy through here. What we'll do is we'll go through it sort of slowly um, and wait for you just to make sure you get out the other side. No, it's no worries. What's that? Oh, well done, mate. Absolutely awesome. See, again, this is something I like about the Green Landing community. Even the newbies and stuff like that. It's just all friendly. Um, yeah, everyone cares for each other. Yeah, it's in a lot better condition now than it was. I guess this just had so much traffic going over it, it's, it's compacted the mud down quite a lot. But you can see the sun's sort of burning off the water. It's all sort of misty as it evaporates. It's really quite cool, quite cool indeed. The guy's doing great. He's doing blooming marvellous. Oh, now I'm getting the reflection off the puddles. <laughs> yeah, it's loads easier now. Loads easier. That's not belittling him. Because <laughs> this would scare the hell out of me first time I was off-road, that's for sure. But yeah, you can almost feel the flintiness underneath now, where the, all the mud's been compacted down. Oh, it's kind of really awesome going through this mist. Really awesome. Give him a little way to catch up. There he comes. Oh, it's kind of made my day running into him. Just brilliant seeing someone getting joy out of motorcycles by pushing their boundaries, doing something that they've never done before. That's what life's all about, isn't it? Grabbing it by the horns and just seeing what happens. I really hope this mist is being picked up by the GoPro because it's so, so awesome. Tool's being tail gunner, so uh, I don't feel too bad if I scoot off a little far um, because I know the guy I feel to give him a hand, pick his bike up if he does come off. But all this stuff's really easy terrain with the tyres he's got, he'll have no problem on this bit. Brilliant, nice one. How'd you get on? It's awesome fun, isn't it? I did, I've, I've, it's something I've taught myself with this bike because um, when I, I, I did a little bit of green laning when I was off-roading when I was younger, yeah. and for that I was lazy. I was always sitting down, yeah. um, and for not this bike but the bike I got before this one, I made it my mission to not sit down except for on tarmac. Yeah. And for whenever I rode that one, I only ever stood up off-road. Yeah. Um, but these days I just kind of up and down and stuff like that. But it's a good habit to get out of of sitting down. Yeah because you get a lot more control um, by standing up. The big heavy bike is a lot harder anyway, um, so you just you just get a feel for it. Um, the next lane is along here and then left. Yeah. I, I, there's some bits on it I don't know if you want to do. Um, you might be fine, um, but there, there's some, I, I don't know what it's like today, um, but there are some deep puddles there potentially, and uh, sort of rutty bits and stuff like that. Um, yeah, no, I'm quite happy just peeking up and down here, I think. Cool. Yeah. 
I mean, it's a good lane. It's it's a lot better than it was last time I came along here because all that all that mud that's new. And um, the Forestry Commission or the, uh, the National Trust have pulled some trees down, and so it's all been mashed up by them dragging all the trees out. Um, and they're going to come and scrape it at some point, and it'll go back down to the flint surface that it used to be. But I prefer it like this because it's muddy and it's more fun. <laughs> There's so many green lanes around here, and if you head towards Hindheads and that way as well, there's some really good ones there. Um, but I mean, if you want to do more of this, join the TRF. TRF. Yeah, the Trail Riders F Federation or whatever fellowship. Um, it's like 50 quid a year, and they'll give you access to their green roads maps, which shows you where all th the, the green lanes are. Long round, Loads, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no problem. He's called Phil 480. He's got a YouTube channel. Phil 480. I've, I'm called Hippo Drones, okay. um, and you'll be on a video in a couple of weeks. Brilliant! Yeah, amazing, absolutely. I, I, I was like singing your praises all the way along there, on, on towards the camera and stuff. Um, so yeah, if you if you are interested in YouTube, check out our channels. <laughs> hippo Hippo Dash Drones. Cool, good stuff, boys. I really appreciate it. No problem at all, man. You have a good day. And it, it. Yeah, yeah, that's something you'll learn. <laughs> um, but yeah, just be mindful of that slushy bit down the middle. Um, but other than that, I'll just stand the tracks generally along here because they're compacted. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no problem at all. Have fun. Stay safe. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I was just checking. There was no TRO sign on the um, signpost there. There's not. Brilliant to meet a new green laner. I hope he does join the TRF because they are a great way to kind of learn about what you can and can't do, where you can and can't go and stuff like that. Um, and uh, they will also be able to do some guided rides for him, which would be sort of adventure bike suitable. So you wouldn't end up going through puddles like this. <laughs> oh, it's boosh. <laughs> uh, Phil's made it through, that's good. <laughs> Make a jump! <laughs> Dunk. Oh yeah! Brilliant! Okay, what's going on it here? Wowzers! Oh! <laughs> Oh, I do like this lane, it's very much fun. And the thing is, when it's really muddy, it does kind of put off the, uh, the dog walkers a little bit from using it so much. So you don't end up annoying them. I'm amazed at how well this battery's holding up on this camera. Uh, these endurance batteries on the Hero 10 and Hero 9, they work great. Uh, compared to the uh, standard ones. Oh, wowzers, this is a mess. Them 4x4s have really, really churned this right up. It's right here, but that back there. Ugh. Oh, that's a muddy my eye. Right. Oh, hang on, let's have a look at that. <laughs> Temporary traffic order. Prohibit all traffic on foot or by any other means from entering or proceeding. I wish they'd be a bit more clear. Because I haven't got a clue whether it means that way, or that way, or that way. <laughs> I mean, like, this one here, it takes you down to Chalk Hill. Oh, okay. But Chalk Hill's been completely graded. So I think this one's probably okay. Well, what we might have been is that one might have been the one that we weren't allowed on. Oh, okay. I don't know, but there was no sign at the other end, was there? Um, they kind of keep pushing the dilemma, because I don't like doing it dodgily. No, no certainly not. Um, because now we're, we're in a rock and a hard place here because we don't know which one it means. 
Uh, if only they put on that sign there, or facing that way, or facing that way, then you'd know. Uh, well, this, this way here has been graded, yeah. so as far as I'm aware, that would probably be the one that wouldn't be. Um, and it takes us in the direction we want to go anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, we, should we do that one? Do that one. Okay. Right. The gods, if we've done wrong, we're sorry. <laughs> there was no signs. And the thing is, there's loads of tire tread in the ground around here on both the lanes we've just done and this one. So maybe it was the lane down the side. I honestly, I don't know. And it didn't appear on the Green Roads map that there was any TRO on these, although I don't know if the Green Roads map updates for TROs. Um, yeah, I shall do some research. Yeah, there's definitely vehicles that have been through here. These are fresh, fresh tyre tracks that are up in front of us. How can people not enjoy green laning? See, this is very much not in any worse condition than I've seen it before. When there's been no TROs on it then, so we should be good, should be good. I have a feeling I'm going to lose battery on this GoPro in a bit. It's done very well so far today. It's the first battery for the whole day. Um, uh, oh, this is where it turns off. I got confused. Awesome. And yeah, so I imagine I'll need to change back to Walgreens Lane. We're always riding into the sunshine. At least it lets us know it's out. <laughs> what a beautiful day, hey, hey. Well, I haven't been down here for a little while. It has been graded, but it is chalk in a minute. Um, so if the surface that they put on top of it has worn through, then it'll be slidey, proper slidey. But we might be all right, we might be all right. Feels still straight behind me, awesome. It's so easy, you do it sitting down along here now almost coast down it but it is glorious with the sun right in front of us it's, the GoPro is not going to be able to pick up any of the view but it is absolutely stunning there we go hope you can see that I've got the sun right in my eyes <laughs> dip me peak brilliant 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 Awesome! Everything is awesome! <laughs> clackety, clackety, clackety! Brilliant! Right, on to Wolvens next! A dog, Is it just the one dog or two dogs? Okie dokie. Thank you. Cutie dog, Popo. I get that the walkers and stuff get anxious about their safety and their pet safety and stuff like that. I very much do and I feel for them. But there are plenty of other places 
that they can take them for walks on footpaths. Oh shit! Footpaths. Oh shit! I don't know whether I killed that squirrel or not. <laughs> but if I didn't, it was one lucky squirrel. <laughs> I don't know if the camera caught any of that, but that went right so close to under my front wheel if it didn't. <laughs> Poor squirrel, hope you're okay, mate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I just uh, the wish the nervous ones would stick to places where they don't need to worry about us because it stops them getting upset. Not that I'm trying to tell them not to use these lanes or whatever, but uh, we should all use them with impartiality. We try and be respectful, don't we? We try and be respectful. They weren't arsey, they were just concerned. Um, yeah. I really love coming through this little bit here when the sun's shining. I don't know why, I just love the colours, I love like just how the terrain is. Um, but yeah, just that little bit there through there, it just makes me happy on the inside. I refuse to end this video on Wolven's Lane, so we are doing one more after it. Or at least one more. Um, so yes, there's no closeout going to happen on Wolven's Lane today. <laughs> And we're on to the sandy bit. Now my confidence in sand has improved a lot, but then this isn't difficult sand to do. Certainly not on this bike. It's harder on my Moto Guzzi, the V85, uh, just because it hasn't got really very good tyres for it. Um, but I don't get intimidated on this sand on this bike anymore, which is great, because I used to. You take me down to... Uh, Hindhead into all that sandy area down there. Different matter altogether. <laughs> um, yeah, there is fear in my eyes. <laughs> but then that is a sort of deep, fluffy beach sand almost, that is. Was it F Farrant Lakes or something like that? I can't remember. It begins with an F and it's got some lakes there. Foven, oh, I don't know. Oh. Well, so far we've done okay in avoiding people. It's more like the midweek rides, preferring them over the weekend ones. There's just a lot less, a lot less people about. But on a day like this, you are still going to get them. Anyone that's not at work, they're going to be out enjoying it, aren't they? I always try and ride past this bloke's house, gently. Because I think he's one of the ones that wants this lane closed. He sometimes builds his own speed bumps. Which I'm not sure if that's technically something he's allowed to do. Uh, but none there at the moment. Saying to that guy on his BMW, uh, is, seeing him having a go at it for the first time and stuff, I am so, so glad that it is something I've done as well. Cheers! So, so glad it's something that I've taken up. We might not have the most exciting single track or awesome hill climbs that a lot of the channels I follow have. but it all still makes me so happy. So much happier than just the road bike stuff does. It's just a completely different feeling. Oh, what a feeling. I'm gonna get this demonetized, aren't I? Whee! I'm trying to recall if I've ever changed the brake pads on this. I've done 3,000 miles on it, and both front and rear, the pads, look fucking like you and I'm like have I changed them I really don't remember doing it I might have done it off camera which is why I don't know if it happened or not because if you don't do something on camera it didn't really happen does it <laughs> that's why I'm on Pornhub <laughs> talking of hill climbs this one's a fun hill climb this is but the other day when I come along it there was a lot of cars coming the other way which sort of put me off my pace a little bit. Um, but not got that today. It's not like mega steep, but it's, it's just, it's just nice. Nice! Splooshes.
I think I like Heathland. I think that's why I like that other bit back there. It's because it's sort of heathy. Still got to fill. Awesome. I'm just wondering how many times I must have done this trail now. Quite a few, I think. It's a nice, happy place one. It's, it's enough of a, a rough surface to make it fun. It's nice and wide. And when the sun's shining, it's really, really pretty. I was going to go through that deep bit then, but then I was like, no, that's the bit that we never go through. And I'm sure there's probably a very good reason we don't. <laughs> Giggity. Ah. Brilliant! Everything is brilliant! <laughs> and down we go! This is really pretty as well. It's only a short little one, or short little bit of it. But I like being between the V of a valley. Down the valleys! I'll never do a Welsh accent again, I promise. Maybe. <laughs> oh yeah! I think my front tyre's going down again. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's rideable at the moment, it's fine. Um, I'll, just, I'll, I'll see if it gets me home, if not I'll just have to stop at a petrol station and top it up. Yeah. But we've only got this lane to do anyway, so... Um, cool. You ready? Yeah, my front tyre is going down. Um, it's feeling a bit, a bit sketchy. It's alright off road or on these trails, but on the tarmac it's horrible. And I think my rear is as well. They were going down before. I mean, I had a flat tyre, front and rear. Once we ditched Pez and Andy, and I pumped it up, I just thought maybe it was just because it was cold weather. Um, but yeah, I mean it was pretty much the end of the day for us anyway today, this was going to be our last lane. Always fun to do a water crossing. Yay! So, that's fill through, awesome. Um, but it was fantastic to go out for a ride today with Phil. We took the day off today, so it would be really, really poop if he'd uh, had to have the ride cut short um, when Pez and Andy uh, scooted off. So it was good that we were able to continue the ride and uh, get a little bit of bonus footage for you, or at least uh, another week's vlog for me. <laughs> um, so, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is almost a win. I'm very glad that these punctures, if it is both front and rear, have happened now when my tyres are at the end of their life and I've got the new tubeless system arriving, if it ever arrives <laughs> because that means it shouldn't hold me up from getting back out on the bike again for too long but yeah, uh, so it's going to be some road bike vids for a bit just because I can't get on this I can't fix this because I've got a few shifts of work to do but yeah, it'll be what it'll be Anyway, um, yes, go subscribe to Phil's channel. There's be a link to it at the end and down in the description below. Go subscribe to mine if you haven't done so already. And if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you didn't, you can always give it a thumbs down. I don't mind at all, that's fine. Um, but please drop in a comment. I love hearing from you. And uh, yeah, if your bonus trap that we found and uh, took along with us, it would be awesome, awesome if you say hello too, because it was fantastic to meet you, mate. Um, but yes, right, you are safe. And take care, and we shall catch you all in the next one. How about bye for now. You know, you gotta keep that bike. Rubber side down.